Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, I've got a lot to share with you today. <laughs> Can we call for that daily bread? Come on now. Believe in your heart that a miracle is going to take place right now in your life. Are you ready? Say, Father, I demand from you my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, I was sharing with you yesterday on how um, when, when people have um, formed this habit of making their ministry a demon chasing place. And I was telling you what happens. Now, first of all, I said, those people, it's not now people, there are people who are possessed by demons. Yeah, there are people, yeah, demon possession is real. Demonic oppression is real. But you see, many at times in those public displays, those people have not, those demon spirits, they, they didn't have those demon spirits living in them. They did it. And, and you know, sometimes you see, and it's confusing sometimes because you see someone who you've known to be a believer or someone who's even a pastor. And then they go to such places and you see them saying things like, huh? A whole pastor. Now, people are dumbfounded like, ah, if this thing can happen to a pastor, then who am I? And that's the point the devil was trying to make. Now, this is exactly what happens. You go there. Mm. Say, Pastor, why are you dragging this thing? Because, <laughs> all right, you go there and the minister is ministering. And whatever he does, the hour that he feels the anointing is now moving, so demons will begin to manifest. And then he gets to a person and points you out. This is what happens. A familiar spirit takes you over at that moment. That's what happens. A familiar spirit takes you over. And then, now there are things people say, there are things they do that trigger it. I mean, the ministers now. <laughs> So a familiar spirit takes you over. Now, what is a familiar spirit? You need to understand this. A familiar spirit is, uh, they, 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 they are a realm of, of demonic spirits that are very, very intelligent. And this is what familiar spirits do. Now, I know some of you have heard familiar spirits are spirits that have been following you for many years. No, not necessarily. Familiar spirits are spirits that take over your body. They take over your system. Now, the moment they take over your system, I want you to believe this. I didn't read this from the book. <laughs> Neither did the demon tell me this. Praise God. I heard this from the Lord. So, a familiar spirit takes over. So these familiar spirits, they take over your body, right? Now, your, your, the way you were created, you were created to contain um, the spirit. And the size of the spirits that you can contain, actually you were made, you were created. When Adam was made, he was made a living soul, not a spirit. Adam was not a spirit being. So when people say man is a spirit, he has a soul that lives in the body, it's not true. Man is a living soul. You only, that statement is only true for the man that is born again. And that's another day's talk. But let it hang in there. Now your body was made to contain a spirit, right? Now you subjected yourself to that place. Number one. Number two, you lost your willpower. 
and suddenly because now it's not everybody that thing can happen to not everybody i want you to listen to me not because it will not try on everybody but there are some people like no it can't penetrate because they are in charge of themselves i said they are in charge of themselves they may not even be born again but they just have that strong will of being in charge of themselves now those who are weak even though they are born again this familiar spirit takes over their system and this is what this familiar spirit does it picks from your dna now understand something about your body your body is a recorder Every event that has ever happened in your life is recorded in your body. <laughs> yeah, it's recorded in you. You yourself, you're a recorder. Everything now, scientists, as, as we're growing in science, scientists, scientists are growing to realize the truth of this. So they can use your bone to tell how old you are. You see that now? How? Have you ever wondered how? Because your bone records. And sometimes they can get from your body and they are able to tell where you came from. How do you think that's happening? There is a recorder in your body. You see that now? Now, there, is, there are level signs I've not gotten to yet. And I know there are still things under probation or under investigation. But this is the truth. A familiar spirit takes over the records of your system and can pick anything that you have ever experienced because the memories are there. They are in you. Even if you don't remember, it's in you. But that's why these things are strange. No, it's not strange. This is how familiar spirits operate. So they take you over and they begin to call those things so they can tell you what you did when you were five years old. They can, call, they can tell you what you did when you were two years old. They can tell you what happened when you were born. Now you, you say, ah, how? There was a recorder. Now they begin to say all those things and everybody who knows or maybe someone was there with you that knows you very well say, ah, very true. Because it's coming out from your mouth. But it's not you that is speaking. So what's the danger? Now here's the danger. That demon spirits begin to claim ownership for your life. It begins to say, when he was three years old, I was the one that made him to fall sick. He was now very sick. He almost died. But it's just that uh, somebody, I, I didn't want that man to come and pray for him. And someone like, yeah, I remember that experience. Yes, his mother told me that story. The demon didn't know what happened. The demon is only reading from your recorder. Familiar spirits. Now, what the demons is doing, I told you they are very intelligent set of demons. What we call familiar spirits, very intelligent set of demons. They claim glory for every occurrence that has happened in your life. And guess what? Now, the preacher who doesn't know this truth now says, ah, we need to go to your village to uproot some things. Ah, yes, yes. And after that, you will be delivered. <laughs> they finish that whole thing nothing changes about you you just have that psychological feeling ah, ah praise god truly we went to the village we dug and we saw that thing that they took they talked about it happened it happened but the truth is that's not what is holding you in bondage now this is where the twist comes so ah someone begins to tell you things that have happened in your life 
There is no problem about what has happened in your life. It is the meaning that they begin to give to those things. And that's where Satan captures the moments. That's when Satan captures you. You went to work late yesterday. It was normal. You either woke up late or you couldn't get transport on time. Now, the next thing, a demon comes and say, I'm the one that made you go late to work yesterday. Now, you didn't think a demon made you go late to work because you can even account for all your hours. Do you understand? I got to the traffic, I got to the bus station and the bus didn't come on time or I missed the first bus because I was there late. I had to wait for the second bus or this and this happened. But then a demon comes and say, I made him go to work late. And then you believe. See, now what's going on? We are believing demonic spirits. Then the demon begins to give direction. I will not come out. Before I will come out, he has to go and talk to so-so and so-and-so person first. And they go, mm, okay. Do you know that person? Do people know that? Yes, we know the person. Ah, you have. To. Now, all those are just diversions. They are all diversions. Now, first and foremost, I said, in most cases, those people had no demons in them. They didn't have. But then after that experience, guess what happens to that person? The person is unsure of himself going forward. And it affects, you want to make progress, you just think, ah, I don't know now. Now you see that, that's what the demon was after. So, you see, be careful the places you go to. I'm not saying it's to run those, those, those ministries down. No, no, not all of them are fake. But you see, that practice is wrong. You want people to be free from demonic spirits? Teach the word. Teach the word. Now, like I said, the problem, and this has affected lots of ministers. I'm a minister too, so I know those temptations. The problem here is people in their minds think those kind of ministries are very powerful. But these other kind of ministry where you are taught the word, taught to walk by faith, taught to, taught to do all this, ah, hey, that, that man, a uh, gentleman. You know, that's how they say that man of God is a gentleman. He doesn't, he doesn't have power like that. You don't realize that there is more power in an environment where the word is being taught. Now, that place, the devils cannot stay there. Now, that's why you see less manifestation. There might be, you get what I'm saying? Now, now, but in that place where you have so much manifestation, brothers and sisters, the power there is not strong. You say, no, if the power is not, how they cast out? Casting out devil is for, <laughs> Jesus said, each time shall follow them that believe. In my name, they will cast out devil. That's the first sign. To show that anybody has believed. What does that mean? One who believed in Jesus Christ today can cast out devils. You see that? So it's not something for a higher class. It's something for minimal class. So you don't use that to rate how much the power of God is present. Where the power of God is present is where the wisdom of God is coming forth unhindered. Because now that is where God dwells. Do you think God, I kama supra ita haigaba? Do you think God will want to manifest this power for demon casting? Come on, think more of God. Come on, praise God. Don't think that less of Him. If God is showing up in a place, it is to reveal His mind, to reveal His will. So sometimes the things people run after is making a mess of their lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is how men cause darkness in the body and create so much darkness. People are confused about their lives. People are unsure of themselves. They don't know what steps to take. They don't even know what to do with their lives. They start living in perpetual fear. Be free from that today in the name of the Lord Jesus. There are people whose lives have been damaged by such experiences. 
damaged. Marriages have been destroyed because one demon said something through the person. Say, I watched the video. This is not what somebody do. I, I heard everything you said. Come on. I'm telling you the truth. You didn't say those things. And those things, I come as super in the husk they are. I tell you the truth, 99% of the time, all those stories have nothing to do with you. Everything you need to be successful in life today is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and believe what he has said. Have fellowship with him. He will tell you things. And when he tells you things, don't be lazy. Get up and act on his word and you will see results. There is no demon that can stop results from coming when you do the right things. You're supposed to do by his instructions. No devil. The reason I'm not prospering is the devil has held my finances. No devil has the power to hold your finances, brother. The reason you're not prospering is because you are not, number one, you, you, you are not deliberate about it. Number two, you're not operating God's system and principles where it's concerned. You say, what do you mean by that? Because people think, I've come to God. Now, let's go back to the scripture as we started with on Monday. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 6, Jesus was speaking here. Now, you will begin to understand now. So, so yeah, it's gone. I didn't go off. I had to lay certain foundations. See, now, that's the problem with a lot of people. You believe, you hear the message of prosperity, you just think, oh, I have found the light. I'm going to prosper. In one year, I'm going to make so much prosperity. And then what did you hear? Give and it shall be given unto you. Ah! You can get all your things and you give. But well, you forget that patience is involved. See that now? Love is involved. The fruit of the Spirit is involved. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness. All those things are involved. That's why Paul said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. The fact that you heard the message today, the message of the kingdom is not inputs and or, or garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> Between the in and out, there is a process. There is a process. And if you don't subject yourself to that process, brothers and sisters, Whatever you make along the way, you will lose it. And that's the problem with a lot of people. They just want to prosper. Oh God, oh God, I've learned, I've learned, I've learned. Just, just bless me. Because you're desperate. God is not as desperate as you are. He wants to lay every foundation right. So when Jesus said, do not lay up treasures here on earth, but lay it up in heaven. Now you need the Holy Spirit to begin to teach you how to lay treasures in heaven. Now continue from here tomorrow. Praise God. I pray, I pray for you. Kalimon se fra atila esopero usokaya. I'm seeing some people because i've seen more than one you are constantly living in fear because the devil has messed up with your mind i command now now you're actually facing an oppression from the devil i command that devil to get out of your body i command that devil to take his hands off your mind now in the name of Jesus, be free right now. Thank you, Jesus. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.